Okay, so what we're doing right now, we're heading, we're taking a little cruise over to MTS off-road here in Glamis. It's a day after, it's post-Thanksgiving. We had a great ride yesterday. Uh, great time so far. So we're heading over here. What are we doing? We're going to head over to MTS. We're going to grab uh, one of their cars. Surprise. Huh? We're going to grab a surprise. We're going to grab a surprise. And we're going to buy something. We don't know what, apparently. We're, right. We're going to buy something. Um, well, I think we know what we're going to buy. Dean doesn't know what he's going to buy. No, Dean knows, but we don't know what Dean's going to buy. True. We know what we're going to buy for us from Dean, but Dean knows what he's going to buy for him, but we don't know what Dean's going to buy for him. For True. Dean. He's, Dean said bring your wallet. We're like on it. I mean, Correct. who are we? Why do we work if we can't spend our money on this kind of awesome stuff? So here we are. It's a little bit busier to this morning from yesterday's ride uh, near Vendor Row, if you recall. Look Correct. at that wrap on that uh, MTS off-road trailer right there. If that isn't badass, then I don't know what it is. It is. It's freaking looking pretty friggin' sweet. Frick, friggin' frick. I don't know how many times you could say that word, but I like it. We're heading back to camp to pick up our intercom, our portable intercom. We're going to do a little test run in a different vehicle. I'm not going to say anything about it right now. Well, you'll have to watch and see what happens. Okay, so what's going on, Rob? We're getting ready to go test this thing out, right? Yep. It's a uh, latest and greatest tune from MTS. Uh, it's in their shop car. Shop car's been, uh, they've been beating on it a little bit, but we're going to take it out so we can see what this thing feels like. Uh, Rob's been playing with the settings on his car, his MTS tune. Uh, he's going to go test that out, same time. This car's over there. But before we do that, Rugged has set us up with uh, this awesome setup right here. I'm, let me show you right here. They've set us up with this guy right here, which is uh, a Rugged portable income that we can also plug our uh, portable radio into. That way we have a completely portable system. We just take with us wherever we go, car to car, and then we can record and talk, have a radio, all that cool stuff. So Rob's gonna hold this camera. We're gonna put this, I'm gonna show you how this thing goes in the car real quick. So it has a battery in it, a nine volt will actually run off that, but just in case, I, went in, I also have this cable that goes to the cigarette lighter. Not cigarette. You can't say that now. That's not politically correct, right? Yep. All right, Rob. And then you got, you know, your your head headsets. So uh, we got uh, driver and pat and co-driver. And then we also, to make that work for us, we have these extenders that go that reach to our helmets. We'll plug those in. Let's see what else do we got? We also have uh, this cable here. I didn't really need to untie that. So this plugs into the radio. Plug it in right here. It could be a portable, like a handheld, or even a, if you have a radio in your car, you can plug it under that. I mean, the box, not this cable. This cable specifically for a handheld. Let's see what else do we have here. Oh, we got one more of these. We have the all important for us. Uh, let me find it real quick here. This guy right here. I had a longer one in here. Okay, what we have here is you put this in, I think it's record, we're gonna test it right now. And we put this to our camera, our camera used when we ride. This camera is a kind of a, this is kind of our all around everything camera. And what we do with that is, you know, Brandy holds it and goes like this while we're riding, or we pop it off like this stick it to her helmet with the mob armor, mob armor magnet. That was my most recent uh, slap together homemade quick change device. Turn this thing on and then I'm going to hit record on this. Alright, I'm going to talk, pretend like I'm talking to somebody. Talk, 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 talk. And what we got. We should have audio. Yep. Yep. 
up. So that's how that goes. So that, that's how the portable rugged system works for us. That's how we use it. We record with it. We use it for car to car. We use it for helmet to helmet, person to person in the car. Um, all good. Why don't you jump in there real quick and hook up and maybe Dean can be our other test subject in this car. You have the handheld in there too. Or no. not the handheld, the like, you know. Yeah. Uh, hello? Yeah. Yep, so. Alright. So you should be live. I think that car might be on checkers too. Okay, so anyway, we're all set up with the portable intercom system. We're gonna go for a ride. We'll show you a little more. We'll talk about how this works. Yeah, let's I mean, go do awesome. it. It allows us to record the way we do in our own car. Let's go do it. All right, we are coming at you from a different car. Look yeah, at, yeah. but still have audio. How's that possible? Did we install a whole new radio in 10 minutes? And it is plugged in and working with our handheld and then hooked up into our, our helmets with the helmet kit. And we are recording just like we do in our car. Let's check this out. Hey, Rob, you got a copy? I got a copy. Wow, look at that. Handheld car car. and car to car communications in 10 minutes with a and pretty inexpensively, so, you know, if that's something you need, moved car to car, kind of thing like that. All right, Okay, see? If you need that, then uh, let us know. We're going to put links below to all that stuff, so uh, and don't forget to use your discount code, Dandy20, for 20% off. Here we go, heading out in this MTS car, like we said, doing a little, uh, giving it a little drive to see how we feel about the new shock tune. Of course, I mean, I don't know how it's set up compression-wise, like, but it feels good to me so far. Let's see. How's it feel? Feels really good, right? Yeah. Wow. That, I mean, you, that, you, I, I don't know. I can't describe. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. It, uh, it doesn't have the 4RWI uh, power. We're running on 91 Octane, right? But it's running good. Oh, yeah. It feels good. And as far as we're here, we're testing the shocks right now. Yeah. And, uh. Oh my God! Yeah. Uh, yeah. So wow, it feels good. You hit some spots that are um, that you know would typically maybe not hurt in our car, but would definitely jar you a little bit. Even not in our car, in yeah, any other this, car. This thing does feel really freaking good. Oh my goodness! Let's get out um, to the different area and do some riding and see what it feels like all the way through for doing. I think it's ours. Yeah. This car feels good. And the fact that it's a, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does feel really good. The fact that it's a Can-Am, a two-seat Can-Am, you kind of have a little bit of a, you know how to drive this car. So that helps with the, with the little, when you get to get out and test it, because you drive it, you're a little more comfortable driving it, right? This car does feel really good, yeah. So yeah, going from our car to this car, I'd say it's a little, it has, you feel more travel, right? Let me see. Let I me. think maybe the front sway bar is off of this car, but it feels really, really good. It's still pretty planted. Definitely really planted. Oh, it's planted. And it feels voice. so smooth. Wow. And I'll tell you what, we're, you know, post Thanksgiving out here in Glamis, and the sand has been used. Yep. So. Almost like. So on, almost. A, on other holiday weekends is what I was really going to say. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, traffic up here on the trail. Yeah. Using our communication here to, to let our guys behind us know. Everybody okay? Yeah. Okay, so here we are heading out again in the MTS off-road car. So we just did a little bit of riding in this right now. And uh, the tune they have on it is their new tune. Yeah, it feels really good. Uh, traffic up ahead, of course. On the left. Gotta say what side, duh. This is smoother than our car, for sure. Oh yeah, it is, because we rode this section. I mean, a lot, of, watch out for the guys on the, uh, the motorbikes. These kids, because they're gonna jut out. I'm gonna stay a little bigger away from them. Yeah, uh, traffic up here to you guys coming at us on your left. All right, so it's, it feels good. It's uh. The bike on right. Oh. It feels good. Go on, sorry. It feels good. Um, you can feel more of the travel, I want to say. Smoother than our car. 
how does it feel as far as uh, like breaking loose or anything? Is it getting squirrely on you? Or we're in two-wheel drive, so. No, it's it's, it's completely fine. It's okay, fine. making sure because it feels good to me too. Oh yeah, this is a. The biggest problem I'm having is that. I think he is. This is not a. The biggest problem I'm having is that uh, my helmet's hitting the cage. Oh well, that's not good. Okay, well, obviously we're headed out to Olds. That's a good spot to test out somebody's shock tune, I would say. What do you think? Yeah. Hit some whoops on the bottom um, where we've hit it many, many times in many different cars. So we have a really good uh, understanding. Traffic on the left, all over. So you can definitely feel that uh, bottom out control kick in. Yeah. So that is, uh, oh, it feels good. If you've been out here before, you know, even here, we're heading out. Uh, but the choppy stuff feels really smooth. Like the there, car, yeah, because right? last night, remember, we were like, oh, my God, we got to get off of this because, and I mean, our car feels good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But it was, for us, like, we're not used to that chop anymore, really. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. MTS, you guys have really outdone yourselves yet again. Ah, traffic on the left coming at you. Whew, did that sound scary enough, I wonder? <laughs> so, let's see here. Let's see what this feels like. Well, that was, uh, folks, that was uh, pretty remarkable. Not going to lie to you. Definitely, we don't. We're missing a little bit of our power. But. It was pretty damn good, though. But we are here uh, to tune or to test the shocks. And I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, Dandy approved. For Dandy sure. approved. Watch out here. Where's Rob? Oh. Right there. there. Yeah, these shocks, they're really smooth over the top. So I can say that. Okay. Yeah, that, this feels good. This is, uh, this is definitely the tune we need. That is something different. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Okay, guys, MTS, yes. Two thumbs up for me. What about you? Yeah, definitely two thumbs up. Chop eliminated what almost. Chop? Where's Dean car. at? How's he doing in a trip? That's what I want to know. He's right next to us. Okay. How's it feeling over there, Dean? Good? I think it feels great. Good. Hey. He's launching on us, fool. <laughs> okay. I'm getting our baby on video right now. Oh yeah, that's our baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> that car is majestic. Like a freaking black stallion. <laughs> Cheesy. I don't know. All right. Um, Head back. Yeah. Well, should we go up and over a little bit? Yeah, let's go down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go down. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I don't know why. It looked like we were just dropping off the edge of a, well, we were dropping off the edge of a cliff, in fact. So that's why it looked like that. Hot dogging in our showboat car. Look at that car. He's so cute. Not cute. Badass. Oh, God. MTS, guys. Yep. This is it. That's for sure. Wow. Lots of uh, bottom out control. But also, um, at the same time, really smooth on the chops. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Oh, shit. Traffic, Rob. Shit, dude. We're good. Okay. 
So back at it. So you said lots of bottom out control, but also really good and smooth on the chop, right? Yeah, for sure. Which is kind of a hard thing. Like uh, they usually don't go hand in hand. I would say bottom out control means like typically a little bit of a stiffer ride, meaning that some of the chop is a little more brutal, right? Yeah, for sure. In this case, this tune, whatever they've done, they've eliminated that. So yeah. you still have bottom out control, but you have uh, eliminated the chop also. So. Uh, well played, MTS. Well played. It is super, super smooth. Feels yeah. good. Like, really good. Yeah, it's just amazingly smooth. I love it. I do. I can only imagine this car, I mean, this tune, shock-wise, on our car with the power that we have. The car feels, this car feels good, too. Don't get me wrong. Like, oh, yeah. it's running 91 tune, and it feels good. Yeah. Definitely more than enough power. Look at our car, please. Just, God, do you see our son? No. Oh, shoot. He's beautiful. Oh, God, he's so pretty. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wow, you feel that landing? Yeah, I'm um, barely. Wow. Uh, got traffic up there. All right, so all these car, all cars in this ride, MTS tune shocks. Uh, yep. And you can just, you can watch them and just see them working. Uh, yeah, and I, you can hear our voices as we're hitting this stuff, and I feel yeah. like uh, the even tone and the... The lack of da 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 ba 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 you know, should kind of be an indication. And look how planted these cars are. This sand is, yeah. is beat up. It's real windy today. Um, it's kind of hard to see some of the transitions. It is a, oh, wheelie. Wheelie. Tripped it a wheelie. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, and jumped it right there. Well, okay. this is, yeah, this. Yep, okay. I want this tune. Yeah, right. We need it. I want it. I mean. Yeah, that feels good. Oh, my God. Like, more than good. I feel like it was good that we came out here and we rode for a couple of days, really good rides, before we tried this out. Yeah. Because I got to, I've, all the stuff that we're riding right now, we hit all the same spots yesterday, and I can really feel a difference. And I can't say enough good about our car already. Yeah, it so. Just, but it, this just spells, I don't know. Next level, not, next level not, type shit. Yeah. I mean, our car is totally good, but this is just smoother through the chops. I wonder if Rob sick. He's hanging away about. He probably is. Really? Yeah, I saw that. He's uh, not feeling well ever since last night. And then I just kept feeding him food, food, food. You know what I mean? <laughs> God, Thanksgiving. There's Rob. He's usually right up here with us. He's just not feeling good. He got a little touch of food poisoning right before the trip. So it's the way things work. But you know what? He's here anyways, and we're having a great time. And he's not complaining. I mean, what, be sick at home or be sick here? Come on, <laughs> people. Jesus. Dean is just hammering. Yeah. Drop off, he said? Yeah. Drop off, Rob. This is the, uh, what I'm seeing here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Trip, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. This is like what I'm seeing. Oh, wow. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, this is, um, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, um, honestly. This feels like a lot of power. I can't wait to get I back know, in ours. I know, and compare. I know, I know. Yeah. Holy balls, man. And I was like, I love our car. I love how it feels. But really? Yeah. Yeah. Next level type shit right here. So, you guys have any openings today? <laughs> oh, my well, God. You know, one thing we do need to look at, mm -hmm. this probably has... Uh... I don't know what to say. My lips are stuck to my teeth because uh, I was smiling so much and all the wind got in and sucked up all my spit. <laughs> but I ain't got no spit left. Look at that. Who are these peeps? Look at this, guys. So this feels good, right? All the way through. All the different types. We did whoops. We did uh, olds. We did some chop chop stuff. We did soft sand. We did duning. Yeah. We did a lot of off camber. How And shock wise, as far as it felt the whole way, to me as a passenger, Felt amazing. Good. 
as far as shocks go. The whole yeah, the this, whole thing good. Yeah, this thing feels amazing. No G outs at all, not even close to one. No, no bottoming out. No uh no chop. Yeah, it's so so smooth. Plush, I think. Yeah. Uh this is gonna be you know what I call this? I call this tune the um I call it let me think about this. Uh, wow. Oh, man. This is, a, I guess this would be like the Dune Caddy. Yeah, like Cadillac of, right? Dune Caddy. Dune Plush. I don't, I can't even think of words that would describe it. It's a... Uh, Mm. Yeah, that feels really freaking good. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is called the Eliminator. Eliminates all uh, chop and whoops from your life. Yeah. God. Huh, like that? Yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm stopping. Like, if I see something up ahead, I'm turning my head Please. so I don't accidentally brace. All right, peeps out here, just uh, want to say, hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, there's links below that's going to tell you how to get your hands on uh, the, all the components that you need to have this kind of a portable intercom setup. So you could take it either from car to car or just as a, a budget-friendly option to put in your main ride, right? All right. Easy 10-minute install. Um, I think that you could watch the video to see how that was done. Our traffic on the right, Rob. Then you can call out to your friends for traffic like I just did. Rolling back up to MTS in a second, heading through camps, look at. So what do you think of that car? Um, I kind of already told Ned, and I'm going to say it again. Um, I was like, I don't even want to get in our car now. And our car's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, Dean, and Dean's like, oh, I don't even want to get back in my car because he drove this car. That's what I said was going to happen. Watch the video. <laughs> I said, you know what's going to happen? We're going to get back and be like, we need these shocks. And Dean's going to be like, I need these shocks. And I'm going to be like, boom. That's how magic happens. Ned, you guys about done yourself again. It was amazing. That I told was. you the difference. He said, what was the difference? And I said, somehow you managed to get that bottom out control working, which typically means you're stiffening everything up, which means that if there's any chop, you feel it, right? Yep. There was a chop, but bottom out control on point, no G outs, no, I mean, it was amazing to me. Yeah, we landed really off a couple, smart. some jumps and I'm like, wow, I don't know. Good job. Cool. Well, it's just relentless testing. Yeah. We yeah. test and test and test. We're always striving for the. I'm gonna work for you. Next, I'll come uh, to one of your test drivers. <laughs> we would. It would be nice to have some women drivers. Yeah. It'd be so really nice. Let me do it. Let me do it. <laughs> so Dean, look and look where Dean is. Look what's happening over there. Yep. Yeah. Looks like I'm All right. Swapping shocks here in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> well, we love it. Um, right, cool. And love awesome, it, love man. It. We'll have fun. Let Dean rip around, and then uh, we'll reconvene here in a yeah. little bit. Yeah. We'll have All a right. roundtable discussion. All right. Later. Peace. Bye.